Hey y'all, how's everybody doing? I'm getting better, you guys. I'm getting better at posting a video in less than a month. I would have been able to finish this one a little bit faster, but some things happened and it gave, like it put me off of like some days. But I was on track and I would have been able to post it almost on the two week. But I'm not that far. It, it took me like 18, 19, 20 days, which is better than what I was doing 2020, which was taking me 31. I feel like I always start my videos by like <laughs> saying, yes, I took less or more time to make this. <laughs> but for today's video, we are making some trolls because you guys had been requesting them. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I was planning to do more than... I would, did I do seven? I think I did seven, yeah. I was planning to do a lot more because I don't know, I just always want to do the most I can, but I stopped myself and I did seven. But if I see that you guys enjoy the characters um, and if you guys want me to do more because I definitely did miss some, probably a lot, right, from the world tour. And by the way, I actually tried to do my investigation this time and actually watch the movie, which I had never watched the Trolls movie. And the, I watched the world tour one and I thought it was super adorable. I was thinking of doing like the six different styles of music with the different characters, but then I would have ended up making more than seven because I also wanted to do the other ones I did today. But if I see you guys enjoy it, we can make more trolls. I grew up with the trolls that look completely different to this. They had the little crystals in their tummies. Those are the trolls that I grew up with. So it's interesting how much they have evolved. But I hope you guys enjoy how Poppy is coming out right now. And we're just going to add her little flowers and her little details and she's done. So growing up, our trolls look completely different to what it is here. And uh, I really enjoyed... I don't, I'm not going to lie though. The trolls that, we grew up, that I grew up with... We're a little scary looking, but like still endearing at the same time. I don't, the trolls that you guys have now are definitely much cuter. But I will, I'm going to be honest here. And I really thought like they were a little scary looking, but I ended up still buying them and I ended up still having them. But the trolls that I was used to had the little crystals. So I tried to add little crystal or rocks or crystals to the animations. Uh, the first... The first one was inspired by Rose Quartz, and then the second one with Branch, it's inspired by Sodalite. <laughs> Mr. Dinkles, which I had to do. It's not really considered a troll, right? But I had to do it. I saw it with Biggie. I was like, nope, 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 nope. It's going to be part of the figures that I make. But I thought it was super adorable, even though it doesn't say a word. I think it reminds me of a little animal and it's super... I wonder if it ever evolves into a butterfly? I've only watched uh, the Trolls World Tour. I don't think I've ever watched the original. But I try to like watch it for... for to try to figure out like which the main characters were. So I chose today's figures according to the ones I thought were like the most main characters. Mr. Dinkles never said a word, but it's too adorable. We're going to leave him right now, right like that. But we're going to change him later by the end of the video. Biggie. Okay, so for him, I kind of messed up his eye. But with the magic of editing, it disappeared and moved up. But I had drawn in the purple. And you guys are going to see how it's going to go up later. Because <laughs> I noticed it was too low. So I used some rubbing alcohol to rub it off while it was still unbaked. And then I repainted it again. Because I, it was like way down below and it was going to be covered. I don't know. Did you guys see that? <laughs> now I feel like it looks like a ninja turtle. I don't know why. Just with the eyes. But we're going to try our best to recreate him. And I decided to make the wrinkles with like the needle and like the indents. But, and then like for the hair, I also decided to use this little sewing. It's like a little pin needle to add texture. I thought it was like the best kind of because I could have actually. Yeah, I think it was the best that way for all the texture. Cooper, what do you guys think? Oh, by the way, I do have a second channel if you guys haven't checked it out yet. 
I try my best to like post more often. I literally just recorded, uh, I'm recording myself doing my gel nails. It's not really a tutorial channel. It's more like watch me do stuff that I like to do anyways. If you guys want to check it out, it's called Dolly Life Vlogs. Um, I, I, it's going to be linked at the end of the video. But if you guys are interested in seeing my face and seeing what I sometimes do, <laughs> go ahead and check out that channel but i hope to post the gel nail video the toenail gel nail video hopefully in a week ah! i have like a lot of channels you guys i have four i have four channels because i also have my spanish version of my videos where i translate everything to spanish because your girl here is bilingual hola <laughs> But um, yeah, thank you guys for some of you guys watch all of my channels. What I think is amazing. Thank you so much. I'm flattered. Um, you guys are awesome. But here is Cooper so far. We're going to try our best to recreate it. The hat was the most difficult part of him. But we all got it done. It all worked just fine. I did an attachment to his hair. If you guys want to go ahead and do that. I don't I kind of debated whether to add texture to his hair. I couldn't see it in the image, but you guys can add it if you guys want to. I decided to skip it. And then I could have added more hair to the back of his head, but I didn't. That's another thing you guys, if you guys want to go ahead and do it. Um, but yeah, we're going to add this little detail and it's done. So the black star was supposed to be obsidian or like black tourmaline. And then for Cooper, all the different color squares was supposed to be different like quartz colors because quartz comes in a bunch of different colors i don't know it was just like a far-reaching symbology <laughs> of trying to because <laughs> trying crystals is so hard <laughs> but okay so here i was very proud of myself you guys because i was like how am i gonna add her earrings that looks very interesting and then, then another thing i noticed is she only has from what i remember i could have messed it up you guys but I noticed that she only has one ear, one earring on one side and two on the other side. Hopefully I didn't mess it up. I, I, the image that I was looking at, that's what it looked like. I watched the whole movie. You could have, and I never noticed until later. <laughs> but um, yeah, so I decided to do it this way with the earrings. I think it came out pretty cool. I'm using, for her earrings, I used silver polymer clay from Sculpey, I think. But um, you could have also used like a jump ring or some type of metal like a wire if you like if you want to make it even more realistic but i decided to go ahead and use the silver polymer clay which i'm pretty proud on how it came out when i looked at her character i was like i do not know how much um, how i'm gonna do this but it turned out pretty okay what do you guys think So for Diamond Guy, of course he had to come out of a diamond. It's already in the name, right? Diamonds, Diamond Guy, it goes together. <laughs> but for Diamond Guy, the, the polymer clay that I'm using to start off with already has a shimmer to it. But I felt like it wasn't enough glitteriness. I was considering using resin or like glossing it with glitter after. But it was going to be more of a mission to try to avoid the paints, the parts that I painted. So I decided to mix it in, to mix glitter in the polymer clay. You should be fine if you bake it according to the instructions, which is usually like 250 Fahrenheit. And I also added more glitter to the, to the hair, which the starting off clay had already had some shimmer in it as well. But I just added more chunky glitter after. It's not really chunky chunky. It's kind of just a little bit thicker, a little bit bigger than the, the one I already came with, which was more like a shimmer. And then the one I chose is more a little bit thicker. But yeah, diamond guy. I think the little dude guy that diamond comes with was super adorable. I was considering making him also as well. But um, yeah, here he is. So I'm going to go ahead and bake up and glaze them. But before I leave you guys, I, I, did I decided to add some glitter to Poppy's cheeks. And then, of course, Mr. Dinkles was missing the glitter from his eyes. So I want to go ahead and add some glaze and then I kind of gently tapped some glitter. But yeah, this is how they came out. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. I love you guys and hope you have an awesome day. Day. I hope you have an awesome day. Bye. <laughs>